Days after North Korea's sixth nuclear test, the South is eyeing a boost for its own heavy arsenal. To up the ante, Seoul needs to rewrite a treaty with the U.S. dating back to the 1970s that caps the size of a payload in the tip of a missile, an idea that leader Moon Jae-in and Donald Trump both support. As Reuters' Christine Kim explains, making that change could mean serious power for South Korean weapons. An unlimited weight payload for South Korea's ballistic missiles would basically mean more firepower that could be delivered to North Korea in the case of military conflict. We've seen some analysts say if South Korea were to pummel North Korea with multiple ballistic missiles armed with even heavier payloads, it could equal the destruction of a nuclear warhead. But the South's rockets would still be limited in ways the North's are not. The treaty also puts a 500-mile cap on how far Seoul's missiles can fly. And any move to increase that could go down badly with countries that could potentially end up in the firing line. Under the current agreement, South Korea can hit all of North Korea with ballistic missiles. And if they were to change the flight cap, it could spark concern from neighboring countries like China or Japan. Meanwhile, another unwelcome surprise from the North could be on the way soon. Media reports on Tuesday say Pyongyang has been seen transporting a rocket towards its west coast, an operation that apparently began on Monday, moving only at night to avoid detection. According to the report, the weapon appears to be an intercontinental ballistic missile. Officials can't confirm those claims, but analysts and South Korean lawmakers say if a new test is coming, it will likely happen on Saturday, North Korea's founding holiday, the same day it tested its fifth nuclear device last year.